represented today. The uh, most represented clan is the Crab with three, followed by a three-way tie between Scorpion, Phoenix, and Lion. And then uh, Crane, Dragon, and Unicorn each have one, one player representing them. Okay, so Norm's starting off with uh, Isawa Tsuko. Isawa Tsuko, uh, not really a character that sees a lot of uh, a lot of play lately from the Phoenix, just because there tends to be a glut of uh, characters in the four and five cost range for Phoenix that are just so good. Really comes down to a matter of personal choice as to who to include. And then Zachary just plays Bayushi Shoju and then nothing else. And Norm responds with uh, Asako Suku with no fate on it. <laughs> I wonder where those rings are from. Actually, those are look really nice. They look metallic. They're they're uh, I think they're they're either acrylic or card, but I can't recall. Okay, they look nice. That was quick though. I so it looks like it was a uh, four to five bid. So Zachary actually bid, no, sorry. Zachary bid five, they both bid five. And then Zachary ended up using his uh, box to, uh, to take an honor. Oh. Now, the interesting thing is that, uh, I think because uh, Zach, um, Zach wanted that one fate from passing first. He didn't. He didn't use an action to uh, to dupe Beishi Shoju. But um, Zachary on the table mic says that he he's actually passing his first conflict, and so he's going to pass it over to Norm. So I played against uh, Zachary last week in a um, Battle for the Stronghold event up in uh, north of the city. Uh, I think, I'm pretty sure he went 3-0 in that event and took it. Oh, wow. Well, was he playing Scorpion he playing, as well? He, he is a very dedicated Scorpion player. Yeah. Okay. So Void, uh, so Void Conflict is going to be Norm's first conflict of the game. And it reveals shameful display as the province. And right away, uh, Zach going ahead with the honor dishonor on uh, Shoju and Atsuki, or Atsuko rather. So that's going to put the, uh, that is a military conflict. I got it, I got it, I got it. So she just used the, uh, the, the void ring. Use the void ring action. Uh, Travis has a judge call, so he's going to go and uh, take care of that. Uh, sorry, that was just uh, Zach winning that Void Conflict despite using that ability. Yeah, pretty rough hit for, for Norm, getting that shameful display on the first turn. Yeah. Because now you have an Honored Shoju with, uh, with two Fate on it. Another Shoju... <clears throat> uh, yeah, another Shoju waiting on that province too to do... So he's going to be sticking around for a while. Uh, allows the Forge Edict without any, you know... And, and without crippling your character. Yeah, Celerius Deleterious Force. So this is a Void Conflict on uh, Shameful Display, using the Favored Ground to bring in Shoju. And now unless uh, Norm has something to buff uh, Atsuki, sorry, Asako Suki's ability, she's going to probably die to Shoju's ability here. So, 
Ooh, nice. Oh, okay, that's good. That's that the original thing. Yeah. Of course, one of Scorpion's, sorry, one of Phoenix's strong suits is uh, almost completely unfettered access to Cloud the Mind anytime they want because of the amount of Shigenjis that they have. So turning off Bayushi Shoju is a huge coup here, yes. especially it being its only character in play right now. Now all Norm needs to do is find a way to buff oh. Asako Suki, and then Was he, he able could to do the Cloud of Mind before he uh, started using his ability. Well, um, I guess no. Well, Zachary's first action was to use uh, the Favor Ground oh, right. to That's bring right. it in. That's yeah. right. So plays the court games. Dishonor Suki. Yep. So Seal the Phoenix comes down. <laughs> yeah, so Seal the Phoenix giving the, the double scholar uh, trait to uh, Suki. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so this is just giving that extra buff. I mean, that's still going to be. Sorry, it's still going to be zero strength for Norm until he re-honors Suki. Or sorry, one no. strength, one strength. Yeah. No, uh, he, he, yeah, he had one strength. Uh, Zach just played a uh, for shame. Yep. Talking about. So yeah, no no fate for potential against the waves. That uh, it's too bad. It would have been nice to get the honor on Suki, and uh, they're winning the favor there. Instead, the favor is going to go to Zach. So a lot of cards played on Zach's side. However, that's kind of the way Scorpion do goes. Yeah, just. Not a lot of board presence, but a lot of, uh, certainly a lot of hand presence. Managed to stave off the the assault on the shameful display. Now, Su Suki going away is actually pretty huge. I, I almost feel like, I mean, Norm was definitely limited by the amount of character, the type of characters he had in his flop. Uh, so I don't know if playing Suki with extra fate and nothing else was actually uh, a po like a viable strategy for him last round, but... Yeah, now now going into the second round, he only has seven fate. He didn't. He wasn't allowed to. Well, he wasn't able to carry anything over from the previous round, and now he has uh, dishonored uh, Sako. And unfortunately, the second Suki shows up after the first one dies. But Norm deciding instead, he's just going to play Shiba Sukune, probably yeah, as his only character for the round. And uh, Zachary responds with Yoga Outcast. And Norm passing, getting a fate. And then Zachary, now now that he doesn't have the opportunity to pass first, he's just going to dupe Beishi Shoju. Still has a lot of fate though, so he can play the Young Rumor Monger if he wants to. Young Rumor Monger is, uh, I think, a great, it's a great play. Uh, it's a great character to play against uh, Phoenix as well as Crane. Absolutely. So the one, the one positive here is it looks like Norm is not likely to lose uh, an honor to uh, the Scorpion box this time. <laughs> Norm's also using the dial on... Uh... Oh, unless, yeah. of course... Uh... Yeah, th this time Norm bid less on the dial. He bid yeah. three. Yeah, and then compared, I think, to five. Or sorry, no, it was three to four yeah. again. Yeah, and Norm... Yeah. So, so Norm is actually at 10 uh, honor now. Wait. Yeah, that's the first player. Yeah, yeah so he should be at 10 honor. <laughs> and Zachary's at 10 as well. I'm oh, sorry. Yeah. Oh, you said he bid 3 to 5. I was mistaken, sorry. Yeah. That, that's weird. I mean, Zachary bid 4 last turn, too, I think. <laughs> So uh, I see a Way of the Phoenix in Zachary's hand. That's going to be huge against Shiba Sukune. Way of the Scorpion, you mean? What did I say? I oh, you said Way of the Phoenix. Whoops. <laughs> yeah, Way of the Scorpion. E either your brain misfired or mine did. One of the two. Oh, Pilgrimage. 
Void Trigger gives uh, Secret Void Trigger gives Zachary a Faith there. So Pilgrimage is going to be huge just because like unless unless Norm breaks this, he's not going to be able to fire off the the fire trigger here. Yeah. So I think I heard Zachary say that he wasn't uh, putting any defenders. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I, I don't think he was uh, putting any defenders in, and the, the, the reason is. Yeah, the reason for that is just because he knows since uh, Zachary has a way of the scorpion, he can just straight up dishonor uh, yeah. Shiba's Kune, no problem. That's what he's going to do. Thank you to our friends over at First Earth uh, who hosted us. Uh, I'm guessing the uh, system open in Hanover is now concluded uh, for the day. I'm clear as who won, but uh, we'll have to check that out later. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't know how much crossover there is between X and players. No, nope. but but for those people who've uh, who uh, have jumped onto our channel from First Start, uh, I think our next X Wing tournament is probably going to be sometime late, either later this like, month or next month. Yeah, we may have one in early May. Uh, yeah. We definitely have a charity event that we're going to be covering for Montreal uh, late in May next month. Yeah, with the Millennium Condor Bella Diffusion guys. So if any of you uh, are familiar with those yeah. people, we're gonna we're gonna be hosting their we're gonna be hosting their tournament on our BTT. You can also check out all the videos from Canadian Nationals over on our YouTube channel if you haven't watched them already. Yeah, we just finished putting up the finals a couple of days ago, I think. So you can follow the entire tournament on that. But people are here for L five R, so we'll get yeah. back into the game. So is Zachary revealing the splash for his uh, Scorpion deck, which is crap. Now cra crap splash is actually something that, at least in my experience, I've seen people go away. from from just because uh, the uh, so-called big hand small board uh, deck that Frotop made popular for Scorpion was a Dragon Splash of Crab. So Manicure Garden is going to be the conflict a on a political conflict on uh, Manicure Garden. And I think it looks like it's just showed you with a Pathfinder's Blade, including the, yeah. Yeah, so that's uh, 10 skill between uh, an Honored Shoju and the Imperial Favor. Now, unfortunately, unlike the Dragon opponents, if you have a giant, for example, a giant Dragon champion barreling down on you, you can't use against the waves to uh, bow Shoju like you could with Togashi Yukuni. And with two Dishonored uh, two Dishonored Phoenix, High Glory Phoenix characters on the table. It's looking very unappealing right now for them to even defend with anything. So this is one of the big pitfalls of, of uh, playing this type of deck against... Yeah, it's, it's, against it's, it's really brutal. Like, Sukune is really difficult. I, unless there's a lot fewer Scorpion in the meta, something that can just turn her off. There's lots of Cloud the Mind as well, so even, even if you think her ability is, is still worth it... Right. The, the chances where she gets completely disabled are, are pretty high. So now I don't. I think Norm's still deciding whether or not he wants to. Uh, he wants to defend with a character or not. I do see a Benton's touch in Norm's hand, so that's a way for him to rehonor one of his characters um, if he needs to. Specifically, he would have to bow the the Sawatsuko to do it, just because Benton touch requires a, a Shigenja to to, uh, to play. <laughs> So here's a double defend. And um, yeah, Norm's gonna have to use this. Norm's gonna have to uh, find a way to buff at least one of his characters, if not both, right away. Because they're both in danger of dying. Okay, so Clarity of Purpose is the first uh, first card played by Norm. So that's a uh, it's one of the new cards from the Disciples of the Void Pack. Oh, snap. <laughs> I got it, I got it. Yeah. All right. 
<laughs> so yeah, it's it's actually a it's a really strong card. I don't know, nor, uh, sorry, I don't know, Travis, if you've had an opportunity to play with. Uh, any of the cards lately, but uh, Clarity Purpose I think is a huge game chamber, especially for oh, yes. vertical um, vertical Phoenix decks. Yeah, allow, allow big characters to participate in multiple events at once, especially on defense because you play as your first action. They can't bow your guy anymore, right? And it's it's going to be ready for the next attack um, after after resolution of the conflict. So with a cloud of the minded. Ooh, yeah, with a Cloud the Minded Shoju, he's not able to kill off the Sukune. So he, this is a Benton's Touch being yeah. played by Nor. Bowie and he immediately gets foreshamed yeah. in response from a show, from a Zachary. Yes. So, so response. Dishonored once again. Because uh, played the Clarity of Purpose, so it can't actually bow, has yep. no choice but to take the, the Dishonor effect from yep. the Foreshame. Oh, and here's a... Uh, guard duty. Guard Interesting. Duty. That's a... Uh, that's a deep cut. <laughs> Guard duty was something that was actually uh, that actually I think some Phoenix players were playing early on in the I think during the six and six of the first cycle, uh, just as a way to to honor big glory guys like Shiba Sukune. So who knows? Maybe Norm's gonna have gonna find a way to out honor or. <laughs> You know, out honor Zachary's dishonor tricks here. Yeah. Now, actually, I do see a fate worse than death in Zachary's hand. He doesn't elect to, he elects not to use it, but. Now, that's curious. Did he not use the guard duty? Guard duty's ability, or did I miss something? Well, he played it, he hasn't used it yet. Zachary, Zachary had an action. Oh no, he didn't use it at all. Yeah, so the the conflict is over. Um, sorry, guys, this is uh, it's difficult to manage all these elements at the same time. Uh, wow, that's a lot of cards. Yeah, that was a that was a huge. That was I think a three four card swing. Yeah. Well, three card because four, he had to four, play. He had to oh, play yeah. the thing. How did the how did Kata get uh, uh, honored? I'm not sure. You think with a table mic, I'd know, but <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> the, the 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 pace of play is actually really fast right now, so it's kind of hard to keep up, especially with the the table microphone. But yeah, I'm gonna try to do a better job. Particularly for the first round of the day, we are always kind of trying to ha handle a, a few different things at the same time. So yeah, we'll get into a reason. So here we go, military ah, okay. conflict. Right, uh, there you go. So oh. Dr. Spangle from the chat uh, explains things to us. He did use the guard duty, and the young room runner changed the target, so it honored <laughs> K-Day instead of honoring uh, Skuna. So. What is the name of that, that new... Uh, Which one? The name of the new uh, Phoenix province. Oh, uh... Anyway, it's a the the province that was just revealed. Not that it matters because oh, it, right. it ends up being a break. But it's the province that was revealed is one of the new uh, Phoenix provinces from the Disciple set. It says instead of counting whatever the skill is relevant in yeah. the conflict, it's your glory it's instead. Your glory. So two province breaks on turn two for Zachary. And uh, yeah, Norm is on the back foot again in this situation where he ha he's only able to keep. Uh, yeah. It's Sampuku Saito. Yeah. And then he just remembers to uh, right now he just remembered to use Shiba Sukune's ability. So resolving the fire ring to honor Sukune. <laughs> Zachary just reminding Norm that you have to name both rings with Sukune before you actually uh, before you actually uh, resolve any of them.
Sukune on the flop, so she's going to perhaps stick around for a little bit longer. However, still a, uh, a massive amount of political strength on Zach's side. It's going to make it very difficult for Norm to be able to defend yeah, duping Shiba. Now, but however, it's just like Gardu's on Sukune. She's basically going to get a free honor every yeah, turn. Yeah, I mean, it, it does make her much better. Yeah. So there's a black hole artist coming out on Zachary's side. And, uh, wow, I see, we see a fawning diplomat, too, in Zachary's, in Zachary's uh, province. Depth of the waves on Norm's side. Plays a song scholar as well. Oh yeah, I didn't notice Norm was using the uh, conquest dial for his honor as well. Is this our deck? No. Okay. You win. Do not break. For those. I just get it so I have the clans. Okay, but he's not playing Yorin Corn Splash. He's playing Crab Splash. Oh, sorry. I, that's the wrong one. That's why I was like looking at his deck. I, just, no, no. I see Pathfinder's Blade, but not a Spike Glass. So it can't be a Spike Glass or a no, no, I, uh, <laughs> Grab the wrong purple. So Zachary's first conflict is probably going to be political. Uh, looks like a political water conflict with Shoju and a blackmail artist. So that's a uh, nine political strength. So, display. Yeah. And this time it's Norm's turn to uh, to trigger the shameful display. Well, to try to anyways. Yeah. Society. Oh, there he goes. So four plus two. I mean, yeah, he wants to get the uh, guard duty to fire on Sukune. So we start with uh, nine to six on Zachary's side. Norm gets first play here. <laughs> Cloud the mining the annoying wow. rumor monger. <laughs> because, yeah. Yeah, he definitely wants Sukune honored and not uh, the naive student. Or even worse, Psalm Scholar. Yeah, like as we said earlier in this game, Young Rumor Monger, huge, uh, huge technology against Phoenix deck. Fate worse than death uh, on Sukune. Oh, brutal. See, now, I think... Uh, if you were going to play a Cloud the Mine, you really should have done it during the uh, pre-conflict phase. Now, I, I don't know if he was, if Norm was expecting the, yeah. Yeah. I don't know if, uh, I don't know if Norm was expecting the fate worse than death, but anyway. 
uh, policy debate. So, uh, j just to also recap, Norm tried using shameful display in the Pathfinder board cancel it. So, yeah, <laughs> seven to two on the Pathfinder. Sorry, the, uh, the policy debate. Good omen. That's a weird one. I, I mean, that kind of I think explains why he's been bidding low constantly. But against the waves, good pull for yeah. yeah. I don't think Zachary is terribly worried about those centers in Norm's hands. Oh, another policy debate. Just going to skip the whole uh, <laughs> repeat of the dials. <clears throat> and an assassination with the depth of the waves. Crazy. So that's going to. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, <laughs> we'll figure out the rolls afterwards. <laughs> Taking the uh, advantage of his favorite niece, then dishing an ornate fan for a draw. Dish another fan for a draw. So, is this still during the conflict, I guess? Yeah. All right, yeah. Because it doesn't look like the shameful displays. So, stealing one honor with a blackmail artist because uh, Zachary has now won the conflict. And I think this is also a uh, spies at court that he just played because he dishonored the blackmail artist. Yeah. So, uh, so Zachary at the table right now is just explaining to Norm that uh, you do get to choose the order of discard with Spiza Court. And the reason why that's important is because um, Zachary just indicates that he does have uh, illustrious plagiarists in his deck, okay. which does care about the order of the cards in your discard yeah. pile. So broken, that's the third broken province. And with the uh, water ring, he bows the Solemn Scholar. So now the door is completely open for Zachary to now make an assault on the stronghold between the military favor, let's see, military favor, and three unbowed characters, and a watch commander. Wow. So Zachary's deck definitely seems like, has a lot of elements of, I think, the classic Scorpion Dishonor strategies. Splashing Scrab and Ancestral Lens was the reveal, but since it was a military conflict and uh, Zachary, I think, had more than enough military to uh, to crush the province. Yeah, he's That's got uh, seven showing there. He's got a mint full of cards, so probably even more strength. 